What's up everybody, this is Aid, and welcome to Riddle Transfer. So, as you may know, I really, really, really freaking love the Riddle School games. They were all created by John Bro, or Jonochrome, as he used to be called, I think. Or, is he, is he called Jonochrome now, and he used to be called John Bro, or is he called John Bro now, and he used to be called Jonochrome? Either way, I love his games, and, uh... Riddle Transfer, okay, so as you may have already known, I played, I've played every single Riddle School game, however, I have not played any of the Riddle Transfer games, and if you're wondering what the Riddle Transfer games are, they're just like the Riddle School games, but on crack, okay? So, I'm pretty sad to get into this. Uh, yeah, John, bro. Heck yeah. That's his name. Okay, that's really, really loud, okay. Newgrounds. Everything by everyone heck yeah real transfer heck yeah okay ah oh, this is so epic i love this okay riddle transfer created by john bro uh comment on john bro's new grounds user page follow john bro on twitter subscribe to john bro's youtube channel and visit john bro's site you should all, all you should do that um play the Riddle school before playing real transfer i played all the Riddle schools don't even worry about it you can i've archived every single every single one of my playthroughs anyways play game instructions disclaimer credits quit okay i'm gonna look at the instructions because i always look at the instructions i, I believe I, I feel like i have instructions the game is played entirely with the mouse okay no keyboard action because i know how keyboard can get a little annoying sometimes in my videos the mouse can be rolled over certain objects to reveal what they are okay this is pretty much in the instructions of the other games um uh, combine sometimes items have to be combined. Uh, we're going back to that bullshit. It's fine Also, if you're wondering my face cam, it looks red because I think it looks cool again So if you don't like it, you can also go to you can go to hell like I said in the last video Anyways, new grounds a new grounds game epic. I'm super fucking excited Holy shit Okay Diz stereotypical alien. Yep click to continue. Okay. Well now that your world is now that your world is saved and I forgot what voice I gave him now your voice, now that we're all just saved and our sadistic leader Viz is gone from the universe, what will all of you plan to accomplish when you return to your life back on Earth? Zack, human fireplace. Uh, uh, personally, I plan to find a cure for this fever I've developed. Also, guys, fun fact, I wanted to let you know that uh, on the 25th of this month, it's the 15-year anniversary of Riddle School 1 and the 5-year anniversary of Riddle, of Riddle Transfer 2. So I'm gonna be playing Real Transfer 2 on the 15 year anniversary. I hope you enjoy that. I, I just, I freaking, I love his game. I love John Bro's game so much, or Jono Chrome, or whatever the hell he goes by. I just fucking love them so much. They're the best. I might play One, at, one Night at Flump, Flumpties, because they're also made by him. And I know that some YouTubers have played that. Anyways, I'm getting a little off topic. Personally, yeah, the fever, whatever, shit. Drinking a couple thousand gallons of ice water might help a little bit. Yeah, I think so too. Smiley, eager scholar. <laughs> That's such a dumb way to describe it. I'll continue my search for knowledge and use what I know to help others. Okay, reading the encyclopedia might be fun. You're such a fucking nerd. Fred, helping hand, is my best friend. I haven't really thought about what I'll do when I get back. I guess what I'll do when I get back is think of what I'll do when I get back. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I hope that goes well, Fred. Anyways, Phil, the stalwart leader. Yes, uh, sure. As for me, as, uh, this Phil is just me, you know? Anyways, what the hell is going on? Why are we stopped? God damn it! We fucked up. Something is controlling the ship. Yeah, er Earth? Earth is controlling the ship? God damn it, Viz. What the fuck did you do? It's taking me off course. God damn it. Dude, we would have been back on Earth already if you hadn't just slowed down and asked us what the hell were we going to do when we were back on Earth. We could have been about to Earth by now. Following our dreams, Zack could have been guzzling down that ice water. The point is that we're fucked. As you can see. What the hell is this bullshit? Uh... Zone 5.1 <laughs> Okay, so I guess we just got relocated to Area 51. What the fuck are we gonna do? I have that question as well. Okay. I'm having a little bit of trouble comprehending shit. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Uh, I don't really like the shit that is going on right now. Can you stop? Oh. What the fuck? They're treating us like animals. Also, sorry, I'm swearing a lot. I don't know why. It's not even that funny. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Okay, well, I was hoping for a new beginning. I guess it kind of is, right? 
I just didn't think it would look like this. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Virtual transfer. Hell yeah! I'm so freaking excited! Because Virtual School 5 was such a damn good game. Uh, mirror. To be safe, I'm going to make sure I don't even touch that mirror. Seven years of bad luck wouldn't go well with my two major back-to-back -back abductions. Okay, sync. Ever since the glorious invention of hand sanitizer, I rarely use sinks. Uh, okay, I guess. Um, that's kind of weird. Uh, a pillow. A an uncomfortable pillow. It's better than a plastic bag. I guess so. A poster that says, can I throw a monkey at you? Sure, as long as it means the monkey doesn't throw anything at me. Okay. Uh, vent. This vent has nothing in it. Preposterous. Usually there's a roll of toilet paper or a rubber band or something. <laughs> Man, this game is so good. Okay, uh, toilet lid. Things. <laughs> I can't tell if they're doohickeys, doodads, or whatchamacallits. Okay, ball float. Ravishing decor. <laughs> okay, flush your handle. I'm gonna steal this from the can, cause I can. Makes sense. A uh, graffiti. This graffiti matches my thoughts at the moment. Bleh. Okay, you have some really stupid thoughts, I will say. What is this? Oh, it just changes direction, okay. Well, I think that may be it. Yeah, flusher. The flusher is no longer flushering. <laughs> okay, uh, can I escape? Toilet bowls. I don't think this toilet has been flushed in a while. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Dial pad. I just can't reach that dial pad with just my little arms. Maybe I have something I can use. Uh, you can use this, right? Hell yeah, you can use the thing. Uh, seven, five, six, three, shit. Nothing. Of course. Okay, screw off. Um, how do I find the thing? What's my number? TV screen? Oh, seven, eight, two, five, five. Okay. Now let's do the thing. Can I, let me, can, do the thing, you asshole. Okay. Seven, eight, two, five, five. That was the thing, right? Yes! I'm a genius. Also, I'm gonna turn off my fan because that might be that might be making a little bit of background noise, and I kind I kind of like to make as little background noise as possible. So let me just go to that. Right. Okay, there the fan is successfully turned off. You could say. Anyway, subjects, please wash your hands before escaping. <laughs> I've seen people wash their hands in lighter fluid and and light it to get rid of germs before. I'm not trying that because I remember when Chubb tried to burn fat the same way, didn't work. Okay, Chubb, you idiot. Can I touch, can I interact with the toilet, uh, I'm not gonna interact with the toilet lid. Lop flushed potty. That's probably a term you expected to hear today. I guess so. Anyways, let's go over here, whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, if you look down at the bottom, you can kind of see the map. It doesn't show what rooms I've already explored, but that's, that's besides the point. And let's go in here. Empty box. What a storage room, nothing stored at all. Yeah, sad empty box. That box must have boxed in. Box in a boxing match and lost. Upside down in box. Okay. Uh, nails and string. Nails and string. A sticky note. A blank sticky note. I guess someone wanted to make sure they didn't forget something and forgot anyway. Now that's pretty sad. Um, there's some um, top to bottom. I feel like there's like a message to code here, but I guess not. Anyways, go in here. What the hell? A goat man. Accident counter. Impressive. Most of the days since last accident counters I see are dangling on wires from the wall. Yeah, that, that, one's like, that, one, that one looks very official, I will say. It's been nine, I believe. I don't know. Uh, tube pipe thing. I think that tube must be connected to another part of the building. Or that, or it's just a, a substanceless cylindrical object protruding from the ceiling. <laughs> That's also a possibility. A smoke detector. Cigarettes should be called chokes instead of smokes. Yeah. Uh, Tapoika reminder. Okay, Santa theory. Santa doesn't hide, Santa sneaks. Santa hiding in the South Pole. Santa always sneaks. Okay, while wow, people here don't know what Tapoika is, find out what Tapoika is. It's, hmm, I don't know either. Okay, Goatman. I wonder why there's a hyphen in the name Goatman. It makes it look like a Newgrounds username, but that would be absurd. <laughs> okay, this thing says creature communicator on the side. Okay, that sounds potentially useful. Yeah, it does. What is this? No way out. Unsettling message. No way out. That looks like a really bad omen. I hope it's not for the goat and not for me. <laughs> yeah, ladder. Fun fact, goats can't climb ladders. That's pretty good. Goat man. Hey, goat guy. Bah! Okay, cringe. Uh, there's nothing else in this room, I, I assume. Can I track anything here? Sign? I like thundering rainstorms of death. 
Except for the thundering and storms of death parts. Yeah. Okay, so I like rain. Yeah, I, I guess I like rain too. Let's go over here. Uh, F2. A calendar. Today is zone 5-1. Zone 0.5. Zone 5.1. Guard agents. Annual day off. That was lucky. <laughs> what a freaking coincidence. Up and down buttons. I bet these buttons like these would be useless in an adventure game. I bet buttons like these would be useless in an adventure game. Yeah, probably. Okay, uh, let's go to... Okay, let's escape. Let's look at the map real quick. Um, let's go... Let's go to F3, okay? Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's not a good idea. Nothing happened. F2? I, I, I think I need the... I need, I need a key to use the elevator. Well, that's just shit. Okay, can I use a creature communicator on the goat man? Hey, goat guy. Hello, what's up? Uh... Why is there a man at the end of your name? No idea, I'm really just a goat. <laughs> I was having the time of my life eating grass and strange mushrooms. Now that sounds like a good time, am I right gamers? Then I was taken away, mistaken for a mythical creature. So you're a kidnapped, ha! Huh? Now that this game has a way with words, get it? Kidnapped because baby goats are called kids, ha! Huh? It's funny. I hate puns. <laughs> How are you today? Or, I didn't click that, I don't know what I clicked. I don't do my business here in the grass, no grass deserves that. There's a great little drain in the ground that flushes itself automatically. I'll show it to you, but it's off screen. I'd rather not see that, to be honest. Okay, if it's not too personal, where do you do your business? <laughs> I clicked that by accident. How are you today? I'm sad. Grass isn't my favorite thing to eat in the world. But this grass tastes so bland. It isn't anything like the grass I used to eat. It's enough grass to last a lifetime, sure. But what's the point if it doesn't taste like grass? You just said grass five times. Anyway, I really, I really can't relate to your problem, but I'd like to help out. <laughs> what's the random pipe thingy? Uh, kind of pipe doodad from the ceiling. I don't know, but occasionally soda cans and cereal boxes fall out of it. That's really random. Are the cans and boxes empty? Every time. Always disappointing. Okay. Why do you have a smoke detector? I wonder that too. The smoke detector is there so I can be spared if the grass starts burning. I really care more about the grass than I care about myself though. That's probably not a good sign, but whatever. Okay. Do you have a brother named Billy? I hate puns. Uh, communicate with you later. Is there anything else I can ask him? This guy doesn't help me at all. What the heck? Exquisite bedding. How considerate the facility agents to give me such fine bedding as this paper thin bed sheet. <laughs> yeah, can I use the flusher handle on the vent? One time I said I didn't want to crawl through another vent again. Yesterday, in fact. So there wouldn't be any use in trying to hack away at this vent cover. Well, screw you. Oh, whoa. Wait, the paper reveals something. Wait, wait, okay, I have to go top to bottom. Top to bottom. What is this? Oh, the elevator key. Okay, so top to bottom was actually a riddle. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, now that I have the elevator key, I can escape, right? Police? I think I can access all the floors now. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go to F3, because I kind of want to do that in the first place. Hell yeah. Um, okay, well, the buttons just say the same thing on every floor. That's cool. They didn't. He, John Bro didn't decide to get a little creative there, but it's fine. Anyways, uh, Flying Pig. Now, that's, that's epic, okay? Also, this flying pig was in the third game, right? Remember in the end of the third game? There was a pig going across the screen? You probably don't remember, but the point is that this guy is kind of cool. Hey, pig. Snoink, snoink. I'm going to use the pet animal communicator with you. Hey, pig. Oh, hello. What's shaking bacon? Right now, I'm as free as a bird in a birdcage. Pig, I think you and I would probably make good friends. Yeah, can you really fly? I'm not an expert, but I can fly. That's just a guess. You run into things a lot. It really ruffles my feathers, yes. I guess the hog wild is as reckless as it sounds. Where did you used to live? There's a cloud in the sky that never moves. Atop that inactive cloud is the majestic kingdom of Porktop, home to all of the world's flying pigs. Oh, so that's where you live. Actually, no. I live in the house next to it. <laughs> I've been here for about two hours. I'd like to make sure I didn't leave the stove on. Okay. How were you captured? I was half asleep sitting outside this building, and some guy carried me inside. Then he locked me up here and made me eat like a pig. That's a pretty pathetic way to be captured. How do you exactly eat like a pig? I know my etiquette, but the guy didn't offer me silverware. Or even a napkin. I had to use my feet. Sure, it was fun, but not exactly clean. <laughs> okay, don't you think that you could squeeze through those bars? I've tried. And? I'm too fat. Oh. Now I just feel like- Now I just feel rude for asking that. Some say pork is the meat of kings. Hogwash. Okay, communicate with you later, you asshole. Hardware board. It's a door with no handles, hinges, or anything else you'd normally find on a door. It also doesn't open. There's no way to unlock it. Maybe it's not a door. Okay, well, that's kind of funny. I've never seen a pig with wings until today. Maybe I just haven't been paying much attention. Yeah, in the third game, there was a fucking fine pig right next to you in your car. Damn it. Anyways, let's go into this room. 
Shit, there's so much to dig through. Trash can. The symbol on that trash can makes me wonder if it's a trash can. Yeah, okay, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is actually liquefied glass and it never expires. I tried one once when I had $200 for this for a soda machine and it tasted exactly like glass. Okay, drink dispenser. Oh, okay, well, fuck you. Uh, couch. Uh, can I interact with the couch? Can I, can I interact with anything? Refrigerator? This refrigerator has a rubber chicken and six squeaky toy mice inside of it. Why don't I take them? That'd be pretty epic, right? Toaster. I saw someone get their hands stuck in a toaster once. Then I saw 10 fire engines in a police car. Okay. Don't, don't want to do that. Chuckle logs. They float in the bowl. Okay. <clears throat> bowl. One of the best things about not having hair is that I'm never going to get a bowl cut. Sure. Bowls. One of the... Okay, he says the same thing. Pin the tail on D... Dodecahedron. Okay. From the creators of the Spectral Stone Dartboard, ranked number one party item of the year. Okay. Clock. It's an analog clock that shows what time it is in all the time zones. Considering it has 12 identical hour hands, I don't see how it's useful. Okay. Uh, light up sign. <laughs> that looks like a waste of money. Okay, everything's a waste of money, right? The holiday season isn't for another three months. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this room is kind of useless, but let's go in here. Oh, hey, Zach, how you doing? Monkey doll pile. Ju judging from the general emptiness of this room, I'd say these monkey dolls ate everything. Yeah. Doll pad. How do I, how do I figure it out? There's no TV. Uh, can I just, like, break the door? Or something? Help? I, I only talk to Zach. Hi, Zach. Meh. How are you today? I'm a little tied up at the moment. Not a whole lot I can do. You have to burn the rope. I tried that. The flames on my head just don't reach the rope. Keep trying. You're on fire. Joy. <clears throat> Why are you strapped to a pole? Yeah, that's really weird. The guy who put me in here decided I was literally too hot for them to handle. Basically, I've been rendered helpless for safety reasons. Things must be really starting to heat up. Would you like Would you like any third degree burns? Please take mine. It sounds great, but I'm not hungry. Okay, so what are some fun facts that I don't already know? Interesting question. My favorite color is red. I never tie my shoes. I play dodgeball. Pigeons freak me out. Now I'm allergic to daisies. How? Just how allergic? Do you shake up, throw up, perk up, swell up, break up? I just sneeze. That's probably that probably seems anticlimactic, but it's apparently pretty bad now. Before I got tied to the ceiling, I sneezed once, and my whole body burst into flames. Spontaneous combustion from sneezing. The possibilities with that are endless. Okay. You know what the code to your cell door is? The code has five digits. The digits are one, two, three, and four, and five, but not necessarily in that order. The first digit plus the second digit equals the third digit. Okay. The second digit is two times the first digit. What the fuck? The second digit. The second digit is half the fourth. Okay. And the fifth digit is the sum of the first and fourth digits. I'm not enjoying this game, Zach. Okay. So he just told me that the code is one, two, three, four, five. Jeez, Zach, you don't have to be such an asshole about it. Now let me, <laughs> let me escape. Let me make it help you escape. Yep, the code is just a simple rising set of consecutive numbers. Out of curiosity, how do you, how could you have known what the code was? It was written on this, on this side of the door. <laughs> okay, uh, how do I get you down? Uh, hi, Zach. Uh, why are you trapped to? Well, how do I get you down, you asshole? I don't know what to do. I'm kind of paranoid about legions of rats pouring out of the vents in the ceiling. <laughs> Maybe that pile of monkey dolls got here through the vent. Yeah, I guess that's a possibility. It's open! Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave Zach because I have more important things to do. The key looks comfortable. No need to disturb it. True. I'm gonna go to 5-2 is where I was at. Let's go to 5-1 because why not, right? Uh, maybe I'll get Zach out later. Anyways, let's go over here because this, this is the funnest part of the entire thing. Big Toe. Uh, are you like off-brand Bigfoot? Good day, sir. Meep. Okay, I have to use the creature communicator. Good day, sir. Salutations, young gentlemen. Of what subject shall we speak on this fine day? Uh, are you fond of crumpets? Alas, crumpets, uh, but uh, I don't know if I'm doing an actual British accent or not, but I'm doing a fancy accent, that's all I know. Alas, crumpets, uh, but a faint memory for this old hominid. There were treasures to behold when paired with tea leaves, for what once was my forest. It was the day that black barbed men captured me that I slipped in my very last spot of tea. Unjust ju judgment can be depressant like no other. Okay. 
How do you do? I apologies, but perhaps you could specify the nature of your inquiry. What is your particular mood at this moment? What are your emotions in the grand scheme of things? At this particular moment, I feel lonely, as I generally do. Which is a logical emotion, because I'm alone most of the time. I should say that I am less lonely with you here, but you literally blend in with the scenery. Uh, how do you do? Uh, inquiry... What are some emotions in the grand scheme of things? I am concerned about unlawful courtrooms and the government's capitalistic stance. The wetting hole in the ozone layer frightens me, as well as the limited oil in Earth's soil. Remind me to never ask you about that again. I'll be happy to oblige. Uh, how do you do? I'm afraid I cannot specify. In that case, I'll say there are a few joys greater than hearing nails against a chalkboard. I've always been to answer every question asked to me, even if my reply is not relevant. Are you responsible for trimming your big toenails? Strange enough, it, as it may seem, my toenails do not grow. My feet never feel any pressing discomfort with tennis shoes on. Okay, that's pretty cool. Someone in your intellect surely has a wondrous hobby. I am fascinated by fancy hats. It is my dream to wear a hat that boldly proclaims I am a fancy hat. Okay, well, fancy pants. Proclaim, run fast, run fancy. That sounds intriguing too, but I'd still much prefer a fancy hat. Uh, get bent, monkey dude. Psh, you ain't got no power over me, punk. I do what I want to do, wanna do. Might I ask what the purpose of your smoke detector is? Surely you jest. The walls are almost completely coated with wood and vegetarian vegetation. Oh, I was only wondering if it had any purposes. I do use it as the dinner plate sometimes. Uh, tally ho, chip chap. I shall wish for your safety, good fellow. Okay. Well, that didn't help me. Busy on ship. This is the only one who can fly this ship. I'll have to free him along with all my friends. Not that I wouldn't free him anyway, but he does have that remote that controls the ship. As well as the ability to not crash these things kind of makes him important. Yeah. This looks like the logical exit. I'll need to gather my friends and have Diz fly us out of here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, let's go in here. Hey, Phil. Oh, whoa. Uh, hi, Smiley. I'm guessing you wanted to ask about my hair. Well, yeah, seeing as you didn't have any hair just yesterday. So, why do you have hair? <laughs> it's not like there's much to do when you're stuck in a prison cell. So, I use the can of hairspray that's over there to pass the time. I'll admit, I'm a bit nervous about what people will think of me now that I have hair. I'm no fashion expert, but I say it looks pretty nice. Well, thanks. You're welcome. But more importantly, I still need to get you out of this prison cell place. If you need anything from me, I guess I'll be here. Uh. What? What if I actually guess the password on the first time? What'll happen then? I don't know. Uh, Smiley, I never knew your last name was Sunday. Smiley Sunday? Yep, I boycotted eating Sundays to avoid cannibalism. Oh, it was just, it was, a, it was, that was a joke, by the way. Okay, fancy mirror. I think breaking a mirror like that would give you more than seven years of bad luck. That'd be a mistake to reflect on, oh, I'm sure. Uh, seize the day, go back to bed. The person who put that poster in the room has great taste. Stall, indoor outhouse. <laughs> Can hairspray. A can with the ability to spray liquid that magically makes your hair grow quickly. I can't comprehend how people are able to invent and distribute whimsical goods like this. Yeah, air vent. Air vents blow. Uh, it's exquisite bedding. If I was a blanket for a day, I'd jump off buildings and cover unsuspecting citizens' heads. Pillow. Pillow is a cool word. Uh, hey, Smiley. Uh, uh, how are you today? I'm thankful to be back on Earth. So it doesn't bother you that you just got abducted by another space age corporation? Well, yeah, but I prefer to have an optimistic mindset. I'm more of a distant op optimist myself. I think the light at the end of the cave is guarded by snakes. That really doesn't sound even remotely positive. <laughs> Your prison cell looks a lot nicer than mine. How so? Well, it's brighter, for one thing, and mine didn't have fancy mirror or bathroom stall. Cells are pretty typically in girls' restrooms. Wait, really? I've been missing out. Because <laughs> I haven't gotten a stall this entire series. Anyways, do you know what the code for your door's dial pad is? 51333. Nice, how do you know that? The agent who locked me in here mumbled the code I locked himself as he dialed in. Well, I'll see what I can do. Uh, wait, wait. 51333, okay. I was just making sure. A second another time. Alright, see you later. 51333. I can't put it in because you're an ass. Well, shit. Uh. What do I do now? It, it's gonna be like in this room or something, right? Big toe sign. I wonder if there's a pinky toe, too. She used to live in my forest, but I think now she's one of Santa's elves. Okay, good for her. Smoke detector. I had to replace batteries in a smoke detector once. It took four hours. That picture of the sun is so bad, it's almost blinding. Actually, I think it's decent, but that wouldn't have made a very, for, for a very good joke. <laughs> energy drink. Poo. Classic. Poo classic. Caffeine-free diarrhea. No energy drink company would sell man-made drinks. Okay. Okay, well, I have no idea where the, the three button is. 
like at all. So I think I'm just gonna go to B1, okay? I don't know if I'm playing this game like super good or anything, but I'm doing the best I can. What is this sign? Is it a sunrise or a sunset? I'm never good at figuring these things out. When someone asks me if a glass of water is half full or half empty, I just push the glass over and then say it's empty. Anyways, the negotiable snowman. What the hell is this? Hey there. Rar. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, hi there. H hello. What kind of creature are you? Or, whoa, whoa. Wait. Actually, no, I'm perfectly content. Can't complain. You're polar and bipolar. How are you today? Oh, he got really angry and then he's bipolar. Okay, that's funny. What kind of creature are you? My friends call me a yeti. Also, I have no friends. Will you be my friend? I think friends come naturally. I don't just make friends with anyone who asks. Be my friend! Oh, okay then, jeez. Looks like you don't have a whole lot of hair. I'm very sensitive about my bareness. Well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't have any hair myself. Well, it's a nice thing to say, but I don't need comfort. What I need is hair. Sorry, I just don't have fun memories of when my hair was shaved off. I'll pay you. A die that I found in my game over box. If you give me my hair back, interesting trade, which board game? It's called Learning to Shave. Terrible game. Okay, well, I have to get the hair spray and then give it to him. Anyways, what's the smoke detector for? It's so that hot heads won't come in and melt all the ice. I hate hot heads. That's a that's a first class hypocrisy right there. <laughs> uh, you've got an you got an ice place here. Is that a pun? Yes. Okay, communicate with you later, you you weirdo. I've been able to negotiate with a with a good many snowmen in my time. I'll give a snowman the honor of existing and gives me back a smile. Now that I think about it, it's probably a really lopsided deal. <clears throat> okay. Uh, smoke detector. No, we see smoke detectors are good reasons not to smoke. Yeah. Uh, card reader. Looks like this room next to the card reader is currently locked. Yeah, for some reason. Anyways, let's go in here. Phil! Fred! It's great to see you got out of wherever you were. I haven't had the same luck with finding my way out of this dump. Dump is right. You really got the shaft with this room. <laughs> I really think the people who put us in here just took the bathroom and added an extra wall. Anyways, I'd really love to get out of here, but I can't do that by myself, so... I'll get you out, we can make a team effort. Yep, since there's a lot I can do behind a wall of extremely dense glass. Okay, so it'll be more like what Chochin television shows consider team effort. <laughs> Sounds like a party to me. Sink. Sank and sunk are two of the dumbest past tense verbs to appear in the English language, that's true. I like to have a word with whoever made those words. <laughs> Mirror. Mirrors are used for many different purposes. I find them as practical use to be making faces. Yeah, pillow. I was in a mattress store once, and they were selling pillows full of porcupine quill, porcupine quills, exquisite bedding, exquisite bedding. I'm never comfortable in bed until I have to get up. <laughs> yeah, it's always a silly moment when you discover one part of the room is colder than the rest, and you don't realize you're standing under an air vent. Urinal, a urinal, a degrading system, a publicly relieving oneself that has no reason to exist. Okay, uh, dial pad slot. There should be a dial pad here, but there's not. I wonder where it could be. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, okay, that's kind of very nice, if I'm being honest. What is this? Glue poster. Try your deluxe poster glue. Advertising fail. Okay. So, Fred. Yep. This room looks familiar. Familiar how? Does it look like, a lot like your jail room? A little. But what I really meant is it looks like the school restroom. Yep, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> how are you today? Not terrible. Could be better. Okay. Already done. Have you decided any potential future careers? I'd like to do something for the world, but I don't think he, I, I don't think I'd be great with medicine. Maybe you could be a psychiatrist. Lol. R raffle. <laughs> Seriously though, I've got nothing. Okay. Do you know what the, the, the code for your dial pad is? Snaz. What? I'm pretty sure the password is snaz. It can't be snaz, it's only numbers. Really? I guess this paper I found was useless. I'm not joking though. Here, maybe it means something to you. It's upside down, right? Uh. Five. Wait. That's uh. Five, zero, four. Five, right? Or something? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Anyways, I saw a kangaroo slay a dragon on the way here. I saw a rainbow rhinoceros using butterflies to take a vacation to the sun. I saw a sentient daffodil that was allergic to itself and then used its molten muscles to cook. I saw Saturn's ring up close, and it's really an everlasting spherical staircase that spits up into stardust. I saw a cum a kumquat giving birth to a speeding ticket shaped like a cons like a constipated gopher. Shoot, I'm never gonna win this game. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. See you later. Later. Okay. Well, I don't know what the hell to do now. God damn it, Fred Whistler. Whistlers make great sleeping pills. Well, let's go to B2. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, zone 5.1. Yeah, messy. <coughs> Jeez, my game's a little bit laggy. Okay, good day. Arf. Okay. Oh yeah, I have to use the communication device, right? God, my, the lag is annoying. Good day. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, so do you go by Messi? That's what everybody in this stupid landfill calls me. It's extra frustrating because I can't tell if they're saying my name or calling me a messy animal. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it could go either way with you. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh, you're almost as bad as they are. Uh, how are you today? I pretty much feel like eating my whole body starting with my head. Does that mean you're angry or, or you're hungry? I'm homesick and I'm sick of my home. Okay, cool. This place is a freaking toilet hole for crying out loud. Okay. That's not even some metaphor. I sometimes get taken out of here so the agents can flush the water. How can you blame them? It's messy water. <laughs> Bald-headed nuance, nuances kid. Okay, uh, how old are you? You look very old, if I'm being honest. I turned 66 billion 145,932 today. Okay, well, that's a lot of birthdays. Yeah, oh, but my birthdays bite. Nobody ever celebrates them. Oh. On my, birth on, on my birthday nine years ago, I was stolen and forced to live in this pathetic excuse for a lake. Okay, well, happy birthday. Thanks. I'll be looking forward to spending the rest of my life in this dumpy bathroom. Okay, you don't have to be such a grump about it. Jeez. Where did you used to live before you were put in here? I used to live somewhere that I could live. Mock. Mock mess lake. I was a large lake. I found food on my own and observed the steady course of nature around me. Every day was interesting because of the countless tourists inspecting the area. Not to mention, I had lots of friends in mock mess. Both on the lake bed and out of the water. I longed to go back. But it's a lost hope, and there's no lost and found here. Okay. Well, not unless you count this puddle. I keep everything I find here before it gets flushed away. Who knows? Maybe I might be able to help you. What's down there? Here's some card thing. Here's some card thing an agent dropped one time while feeding me. Thank you. It says power room on it, so I would assume it opens a room with access to power. But if it's mislabeled and you get crushed into a powder or run over by a mower, don't whine to me. I don't think it really would be. Right, I'll keep that in mind, I guess. Yeah. Rumors have been floating around there, just a log. Yeah, you know that photograph of me that's been blown out of proportion? The black and white one? It's really just a picture of a log. <laughs> Can I have your hat? Uh, no. My hat is the only comfort I have. Not to mention, it covers my bald spot. Yeah, sure. Communicate with you later. Beat it, bowling ball brain. Mock mess monster. It's a messy sign. How ironic that it's actually quite clean. Okay. Well, there's nothing around here that I can really interact with right there's some uh, rope down there's some rope down here hose why do i want this i don't even know but i'm gonna take it it's probably gonna help me at some point in the game anyways let's get out of the, let's get out of the laggy room let's go over here guard door sorry to intrude sorry you're an intruder if only i was connected to an alarm system i could end you right now i don't mean to spread trouble i'm actually trying to get out of trouble get get out of it do you mind keeping your mouth open so i can enter the room you're guarding ha my teeth could turn you into coal saw before you could get through me I'm not the only one who, li who would like to come in, though I plan to bring all my friends here too. Your three human friends, the ones that are trapped, I'd like to see them even get out of here. That would be worth a laugh. Actually, I'd get majorly ticked off if that happened. Don't get any bright ideas. Too late. Okay, so now I've already explored all the rooms. What also look at the sign. Stars aren't really dots. They're just gi gigantic gyrostatic ga gases, galactic gravity globes. Okay, Jesus, dude. Anyways, let's go to like... I don't know, like F3 or something. Let's go back here or something. I don't even know, man. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I was con I connected the host to that, and I don't know why. Well, I'm gonna connect it into the, the thing, because that thing, I think, leads into the bottom room, you know? Oh, hell yeah, goat man. Hell yeah. Okay, he became really high for some reason. What the fuck? I mean, it seems like a good time for him, so I'm happy for him, but Jesus Christ, man. I'm gonna go down to him and see what see what that's all about, because I'm, I'm kind of confused. But I'm also, that's also a little funny. What's up, high goat man? Hey, goat guy. Um, nom nom, delicious green grass. Ooh, yes, that's probably what high people say pretty often. I'm gonna leave you alone now. What the fuck? And there's nothing good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to B1. Maybe that'll be better, huh? Possibly. Oh, key card into here. Okay, then let's go into this ass of a room. Okay, this looks pretty epic. Uh, screen, why is it like Mario? I would play that if there it was a game controller in this room. However, sadly, there's not. Well, it just, it just seems like a video that's looping over and over again. But yeah, that's fine, okay? Anyways, guard door power. 
Oh, press the button to switch guard door. Power on and off. Green is on. Red is off. Okay, that seems I'm gonna turn it off. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's not. Okay. Uh, pipeline shifter. Touch pipes to interact with. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. To chash shoot. To mock. To mock Miss Lake. Okay. Messi's chamber. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna connect Mock Miss Lake to, uh, to, uh, what the hell am I doing? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stop reading this puzzle because it's taking way too long. I'll do it later, okay? Screen, if you look at the word sphere for too long, you start to wondering if it's spelled correctly. That's true, okay. I don't want to talk to this anymore. Screen, bouncing lines, those are the worst ones. You just can't sit still waiting in a bouncing line. Yeah. Screen. Error. Press any key to do nothing. You are screwed. Okay. You know what? I am going to do the pipeline shifter because I'm not scared, okay? This thing is like really confusing to the point where it's getting annoying. But I can do it, right? Oh, okay, there. Does that work? I think that works. I'm just going to hope that that works. It, it does work, okay? Just don't worry. Wait. Flush? Flush command. It looks like something is supposed to fit into that hole. Is it the crow, the flusher handle? It it uncannily, an un uncannily perfect fit. Let's freaking go. The pipes aren't aligned correctly. What the fuck? Okay, that's fine. I guess. Uh, don't worry, I'll fix it. Watch. Oh, I finally fucking did it. Oh my god, that took me like so freaking long. The the recording has been so long so far. Now let's flush the shit. Oh my god. I need a drink. Mm hmm Yeah? Holy god. Okay, it was so worth it. Lake Machmas. Ah, they're happy. Let's go. That literally does nothing for me, considering... You know? Anyways, can I do this? I don't know what I... I don't know what the hell I can do anymore. Oh, wait. Okay, let's go to B2. And let's go to... Uh, what was this guy? Oh, this is the, the Loch Ness... Machmas. I'm gonna take the hat. Maybe I can give it to the fancy guy. You know the fancy guy? Guard door. The guard door's power is off, but it's not open now. That's just great. Yeah. Can I use the key on it? The key communicator, the top hat, or some stupid shit? The goat man is still high as balls, dude. And honestly, I'm, I'm happy for him, okay? Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna give the top hat to Big Toe. Does the hat fit your taste? It's a nice hat, but only that. I find it to not to be that fancy enough to wear. The hat needs to be fancier to tickle your fancy? Got it. Well, how the hell do I make this fancier? What the hell? Come on, man. You're really scratching my balls here, dude. Just saying. Could I have your hairspray? Are you planning on growing hair? Uh, oh no. I just like being bald. I just think the hairspray can help us escape. If you could hand it to me through this slot in the cell door, that'd be great. Interesting. Okay, here you go. Thanks. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the Iceman. And, uh, he will... I believe he's in B1, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you the hairspray, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm in a Rick and Morty episode. Okay. Oh, he gave us a die. Let's freaking go. Okay. That's not. I don't know how that's gonna help us. Hi there. Hi. Are you enjoying having hair? Hair is the single greatest thing that's ever happened in the universe. I'll take it as a yes. I'll take that as a yes as well. Anyways, what the hell do I do with the die? Oh wait, can I take one of the flowers? That Disney might be useful. I should go over there and pick it. Put one foot on this green grass and you will feel the wrath of a thousand rams. Okay, never mind, you ass. Well, what if I give you a die? What if I give you a top hat? What if I give you something that makes you happy? Come on, man. Can I put the game die? I could put the game die inside of the thing. Let's freaking go. Okay, it was 51333, right? Okay, now it should work. Okay, let's freaking go. Think what's next. I think it would be a good idea to, to get everyone together at the lowest point of this building. Gotcha, I'll be right down. Okay. Pretty good. Can I go in and like take stuff? Subjects, please wash your hands. I always find it degrading when someone tells me to wash my paws. Don't compare me to, don't compare me to any four-legged fur balls that poop on the ground. Yeah, how dare you? These dial pads are like phones, except you press buttons to limit your access to the outside world. Yeah, that's true. Oh, hey, Smiley. Smiley, where'd you learn to smile so much? I think it was in the library. Statement does not compute. <laughs> yeah, because I've never been to the library. I don't read. What are you talking about? I guess I shouldn't underestimate these facility agent guys, but I, I it's easier to believe I saved Earth than it is to believe someone spelled my name correctly. <laughs> Feel like tree. 
I am not escaping the same way Messi did. He could get flushed because he's an aquatic dinosaur. Rapidly tumbling through miles and miles of water-filled pipes wouldn't be good for my health. Yeah, I agree. This is the only flower I could stop and smell without stepping on the precious grass. Okay, so I actually managed to get a flower, but I barely got it. Can I mix it with the top hat? I think this daisy lacks the proper decorative flair that would make this hat look fancier. Then what does, okay? Please tell me. Zach, do you want the flower? Oh yes, because you can sneeze. Ah, ah, chew! There, and now I, f I, I got Zach out. Okay, good. I have mixed feelings about that escape. You're welcome. Hey, uh, oh hey, would you mind following me for a while? Yeah, well, I would mind, but you're smart. So I'm sure there's a significant purpose to me having follow you. Great, gl uh, glad you agree, but I'm afraid you can't enter any rooms as smoke detectors. I'll be as content as long as I get to burn something. Okay. Now I have Zack in my inventory for some reason. Can you burn the monkey pile? No, you cannot. Okay, great. Can you... you the flying pig? Wait, can Zack burn the flying pig? Please? Hell yeah. Now the pig can escape. Oh my god, his face. That insatiable lust cannot be matched. Dude, he just went off into the distance. Jesus, can I take his flower? Feathers or whatever? Cool. Wait, can the... I, I, Feather in the top hat. Feather in the top hat. Now that's epic. Okay. Uh, uh, the... The... Monkey dude was in here, right? Uh, Feather in the top hat? Hell yeah. Okay. Now that's fancy. House fancy. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways. This guy just gave me a thing. Now I can help Fred escape. Uh, this isn't Fred. Oh, Fred's in this. And B1. Okay. Fred, we're coming. I mean... So, yeah, we're coming. Anyways, dial pad. Oh, what the hell was your code again? Wait, it was Snaz, right? How the hell does Snaz have to do with anything? Please tell me. Please tell me. I need to know. Ah! There's probably some big thing that I'm missing right now, and it's super annoying to me. Good day, sir. Thank you again for the lovely hat. I will be reminded of your kind gesture every time I vigorously do the tango. This conversation just ended. Okay, you weirdo. That's fine, I guess. Okay, guys, I searched it up because I'm tired of the bullshit. And apparently this is the password for Fred. Why? I don't know, okay? Don't ask me because I didn't figure it out by myself, okay? Because I'm an idiot. Cool, now what? Smiley and Zach are waiting for us on the bottom floor of this building. Awesome, so how do we get there? Just go to the door and there will be an elevator in plain sight. Down I go. Then if I tell you, if, then if I tell you I can't find it, okay? Uh, now what do I do? Urinal. Okay, I don't think there's really much I can do. I guess it's time to go down, right? Let's go to B2. Because, sh sure. Uh, what's in here? Oh yeah, Messi's pool, which is super the laggiest room in the world. Jesus. Now let's go in here, the guard door. My friends seem to have all accidentally stumbled out of their heavily secured confinement cells. Yeah, we are hoping to have a picnic in the room behind you. Care to let us in? Wait, all of you escape? Seriously? There's something I cannot comprehend. I wish you all a happy new year. But he's freaking in binary at this point. Berserker. Go through. I don't think I possess the agility necessary to divide to dive through those chomping teeth. Damn it. Uh, Fred, do you? I'm all about helping, but in this situation, I think it'd probably be best if I didn't interfere. Smiley. This is exciting. Zach, can you help? Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry, but I searched it up again. And apparently, in order to, uh, in order to get past the door, you have to do this. Nice. And now, I'm just gonna go back down, and it's gonna be great. I'm sorry I'm searching things up, but I just can't, okay? I can't, I, I, I couldn't do this game if I didn't search it up. I'm sorry, I'm just not that much of a genius. Anyways, let's go into the, let's go, we're in the room now. What the hell are we gonna do? Oh, brain? This Diz? Holy shit. He, he's a, he's a sex slave. Call it a long shot, but I think this machine might be reading Diz's mind. Checkpoint? Did I get a checkpoint? What the fuck? It looks like a treasure data dad regarding Biz, Bizion. Okay, kind of a drastic method to gain information about a dead project. <laughs> okay, Bizion was a scheme concocted by the psychotic alien dictator Biz. Okay. Uh. Planet Earth would be destroyed had I not found a way to stop the maniac. Biz got a taste of his own poison. The Project Vizion died with him. Uh, okay. Uh, I wonder if the researchers something. No matter. I came here free Diz. 
okay? And then this journey will be injustice. And then this journey through injustice will all be a pleasant memory. Okay. This game is really long. And, uh... I mean, it, it, it's really long to play in one sitting, considering it's a puzzle and adventure. But it's, it's pretty fun. Circular design. That kind of looks like a whirlpool in a polluted bay. <laughs> Vizion data. That's a picture of the Vizion ship we rode and before we ended up here. Okay, Vizion's plans. Vizion ended when Viz was defeated, so why are the plans here from a dead program? I don't freaking know. It doesn't appear that I can do anything with this yet. Okay, I'm gonna put the contraption device in there. Because why not? What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. These puzzles are crazy. Okay, this is not that hard. I just It just takes a little bit of time, but it's fine. I'll do it. Okay, there. There. Damn it. What? It got rid of everything? Are you serious? Shit. Okay, there. That's exactly the same shape. Okay. I don't know how I got it wrong the first time. I don't know exactly what was different, but you can probably look back on the recording and see the difference. Anyways, this contraption. Uh... What? I did it somehow, okay. Uh, this contraption. Uh, 7 minus 0 equals black. What am I doing? It's a shame I have to part with this communicator. I was hoping to converse with the squirrel. <laughs> yeah, that would've been pretty fun if I'm being honest. I don't know how the hell- Brain data, this machine is apparently a mind reading device. I, I hate to be inside of one of these. My brain's baffled enough as it is without technology tapping into it. Now, liquid tube. Whatever it is in this tube, it's probably not a good, not a good idea to swim in it. Yeah, I agree. Collected data. Looks like information is being collected about Vizion. Okay. I'm still having trouble with this. I have no idea what the hell this is. Oh, seven. Okay. Okay, th this makes sense now. It started, it, at first it didn't make sense, but now it makes sense. Okay. Uh, zero. Okay, cool. That was pretty easy once I got the hang of it. Anyways. Damn it! Oh, I actually did it. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I did it. Diz, hello. Are you okay, man? Please. Also, sorry if my face is kind of hard to see because it's so dark, but it looks cool. Okay. Anyways, Diz, are you okay? What's up? What's up, my man? Looks like everyone here. It, everyone here is. It looks like everyone is here and accounted for. Okay. And everything. And everything at that, I still have this remote to the ship. And now, marvelous, marvelous hero, lead the way. Our freedom awaits us. Okay. Let's fucking go. It's gonna be in B1, right? Uh, no, it is not in B1. It's in F1. <laughs> I fucking forgot. Okay. Uh, yes. Let's do this. Oh, oh shit! Go quick! Just go quick! Go quick! No! Diz, wait up. I'm sorry, but there's no time. You have to find another exit. Okay. Uh. Now we're gonna do this way. Uh. Go to the. Wait, okay. Uh. Where the hell are we going? B2. Okay, exit through there. What the hell are we doing? We're going down into the fucking sewer? What the hell? Is this bullshit? Oh, it's these assholes again. Oh my god. Okay. Real transfer, was that it? End of part one. You beat the game in 5,083 seconds. That's, that's a very large amount of seconds, right? That's over an hour. An hour has 3,600 seconds in it. I spent like an hour and a half on this damn game. Now that's pretty gamer. Anyways. The only reason that it's a long time to me is because I'm recording very late at night. I'm going to go to sleep immediately because I have school tomorrow. But the point is, uh, that's pretty epic. Let's go back to the main menu. Holy shit, that was insane. Oh, I really want to fucking play Riddle Transfer 2 now, but I'm going to wait till the 25th. And when the 25th rolls around, it's going to be pretty se pretty epic, okay? So I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably super long. I don't fucking care. I had so much damn fun. I hope you enjoyed the game. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.